Alex Noren's impressive performance at last year's BMW PGA Championship was the only Swedish victory on the European Tour in 2017. This season has already produced two Swedish champions, with Joachim Lagergren and Alexander Björk both claiming their first European Tour titles. Their victories continue Sweden's remarkable run of having at least one winner on tour every season for the past 30 years. It's been great for Swedish golf that we had a couple of new winners with Alexander Björk and, and Lagergren. Uh, I think for us in Sweden, we have kind of, uh, it's no surprise that they're going to win. Uh, Alexander Björk is a very complete player. He's been on the Challenge Tour for seven years. He was, I think he was pretty, pretty smart. He uh, waited till he played his way onto the tour. So he got here a very mature and, and ready player to, to compete here. And he's showed already that he's a good player, uh, even before he won. Uh, Lagergren is, is uh, a nice, really, really good player, and it was good for him to win. Uh, so uh, it's very exciting for us to see new, new uh, generation coming through. For a country with long winters and a relatively short golfing season, Sweden's conveyor belt of talent in both the men's and women's game is quite extraordinary. We don't have the best season. I mean, we we got like six, seven months in, that we can play golf in Sweden, so we need to do a lot of indoor practice, but. Sometimes I think that can be good as well to take that break off from, from playing golf and get to the gym and get that indoor practice and stuff like that. So that could be a recipe for being a good golf player. Since I grew up, my dream has always been to win on, on tour. So I've been waiting for this so long and fighting so much for it. So it feels like sometimes you put too much pressure on yourself to, to get that first win. Whilst getting the breakthrough is never easy, those 30 years of European Tour success for the Swedes gives youngsters back home an idea of what's possible. Seeing the likes of Henrik Stenson and Alex Noren riding high in the world's top 20 is another source of inspiration for the country's current crop of emerging stars. I think it's really important to have some, some good guys looking up to and, and to get in their footsteps, so uh, obviously they mean a lot. Then. Watching tournaments and, and playing golf, you, you always need to have your idols and, and try not trying to work as hard to get to that level they are at. So it's it's been really really good to follow their journey. Well, when I grew up, we didn't really have many players on on the tour. Um, just when I turned 14, 15 was kind of when when I became more aware of the European Tour. Uh, I'm born 1969, so mid 80s was kind of the first time we had players showing up. Uh, regularly on the European tour, so my my idols and role models were, you had to look a bit further away. So it's Jack Nicklaus and Seve and and Tom Watson. But um, uh, I remember when I was uh, on a camp with the Swedish national team, and we were at Valderrama in Spain, and, and Anders Forsbrand was there and practiced, and he came and held a little uh, clinic in the bunker for us. And obviously, it was very very exciting to see how the big boys were doing it uh, with your own eyes. So role models are hugely important. One Swede who's certainly done her bit to boost the game's profile is Annika Sorenstam. The Hall of Famer is the most successful of Sweden's five LPGA major winners, with ten major titles to her name. By contrast, it wasn't until Henrik Stenson's record-breaking performance at Troon in 2016 that Sweden's men could finally lay claim to one of the sport's great prizes. I don't know how many majors we have on the female side, but for us men, we always had that kind of monkey on, on our back for a while. So it was, thanks very much, Henrik. It was nice. <laughs> uh, but definitely, I mean, it was very, it was very, very exciting for us and and everybody out here. And it, it was very, it was fantastic. And then when I talked to him after, it's like, well, I couldn't have done it with everybody who's won tournaments before him. So he was very aware of how important it is with role models, and that was very nice and gracious of him. While several Swedish players had come close to major glory, with Jesper Parnovic twice finishing as a runner-up at the Open, Stenson's remarkable Sunday battle with Phil Mickelson at Troon finally gave Sweden the victory it so badly wanted. I was already mentally focused to, to get my first win and, and to, do, to do my work and my job. Uh, but, but still, it's a great thing for Sweden. 
I think it's great for, for golf all around Sweden. It's, I think it's been growing the game as well. So uh, overall, it's a really good thing. We talked a lot about it in Sweden. It's like, how do you support Swedish golf the best? And, and um, you need to have good players on the tour. It's just very, 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 very important. You need to have role models for new players, for young kids in Sweden. And we've seen very clearly that when Henrik won in the British Open, we saw a big upswing in the number of rounds played in Swedish golf courses. So that's very, very important. So you need to have those role, good role models. And it's very important that it keeps coming new faces and new players. So it's very exciting.